My name is Christian Lodagaski. My major is electrical engineering and I am a senior here at Hofstra. The reason I chose Hofstra uh, was definitely many different like sub reasons I would say but more importantly it was the diversity program. It had to do especially with um, that it was a liberal arts school and that I could get a good diversity of learning even if it wasn't my major particularly. Um, I did like the fact that they had a new school of engineering and applied science because I was definitely uh, very interested in electrical engineering at first uh, and they also had a good music program so I wanted to do that on the side um, and even just a good media presence as well that includes like radio television and film so it, it just it had it all. My experience at WRHU is very phenomenal this is like the prime organization on campus that like made me who I was got me into the media industry uh, eventually led to my internships but WRHU uh, what I do at the station is it's varied a lot of times. I started off as a reporter for the news, then I went to an engineer, which I definitely want to stay more with the technical part of the station. And then something pretty fascinating happened where uh, I wanted, I co-founded a show, um, and it became like a very big show for the entertainment section at the radio station. So now my main position is um, basically running the entire entertainment section of the radio station. The reason I got inspired with WHU, and this came from summer orientation. Lily came in uh, with the, the first day you're on orientation to give you a tour. So I literally walked past this window and they say like, yes, in 10 weeks you could be on air um, just like everyone else's. And I'm like, man, that sounds really cool. Awards I've had at WHU, I, I've gotten a leadership award, which is really cool back in my junior year. And we also got a regional recognition for a news broadcast. That was the first organization I joined on campus. And by like December, like three months after I was a student, I became a Pride Guide. And I've been doing all the open houses and mid students days. Uh, I give a lot of tours from academic and residential on campus. And um, you just get to show students like what it truly means to be a Hofstra student. The other clubs I'm involved in on campus is, uh, the first one is IEEE, which is the Pre-Professional Electrical Engineers Society. Uh, I'm currently president of our branch here at Hofstra. Uh, we put like certain events like networking events and like resume critiques, and, and sometimes we throw a very rad barbecue at the end of the year for the entire department. Uh, so that's always very fun. We do some fun events with them just to bring the engineers together and to network for the industry. I was involved with was Welcome Week, and this was, this was a big milestone for me becoming a leader on campus. Um, and my position was personnel. So basically what I got to do was organize 80 Welcome Week leaders to cater to all 1,700 students for five days. So it's a lot of like managerial things. I had to do a training with them for three days. Um, and there was a lot of things you have to run and a lot of people to coordinate with. So uh, definitely thankful for like OSLE giving me that opportunity to really kind of shine in that leadership role because that truly showed uh, what it meant to be a leader. So the internships that I've had, uh, I've been very fortunate to have. I started at NBC Universal, which was junior, uh, junior into my senior year and during the summer. And also ABC, which uh, I just finished uh, just a little while ago. Um, both internships actually had very similar roles. I was part of the broadcast operations and engineering facilities. I got to do a lot of IT, routing, engineering, uh, like use AutoCAD to design electrical circuits um, and create like new channel feeds and stuff like that. Uh, there was a big switch from SD footage to HD, if you know anything about television. Um, well, both were like very pristine. Uh, I got to help out with shows like the Today Show, uh, Seth Meyers, and, and ABC. I even helped out with the Oscars, which was like the coolest experience ever. Uh, uh, my electrical engineering professors really helped me uh, understand a very logistical mindset in regards to like mathematics and science and looking at the world from a very practical use and where you can build it to create a vision um, coming from scratch and just building something out of it. Um, and they definitely like inspire me to like you know think in in certain ways and interact with certain people just from a very technical standpoint, and also from the radio station. I, I definitely have to thank them as well because they truly helped me understand the professional means of broadcast and media, which really kind of narrowed my uh, you know my concentration of technical to the to the media industry. So my plans for after graduation, um, I'm still mainly in the search, but I was very lucky to have an interview with Disney um, for a Disney full-time job actually in Florida, so like right in Walt Disney World, and I'd be doing a lot of like entertainment technical things, putting on the shows like fireworks, audio lighting, props, and a lot of like 
internal technical things to make Disney magic happen. Um, but other than that, I'm still looking at ABC, NBC, like a lot of my internship opportunities, HBO, a lot of media companies, and, and looking for the more technological route.